Okay, sorry about that because uh, I ran out of time. But uh, I was saying it was uh, the WWE Championship match, CM Punk versus The Rock. Um, what I can really say about this match, I didn't really enjoy it as much as I thought I was going to be enjoying it. But it uh, was a good enough match-ish. But compared to Cena's and The Rock's match from WrestleMania, I rather, I rather the Cena's match with The Rock because it, I don't know. It felt uh, there was more hype, I think, between the CM Punk match and The Rock, which I didn't like as much. And you may have a different opinion on that, but I just thought there was too much hype. They pulled off their spots. They did the GTS. They did uh, the Rock did his moves. He did the Rock bottom. He did the People's Elbow. But uh, yeah, but at then coming up to the end, the lights go off. The Rock ends up, up uh, being thrown over a table, and apparently it was the shield, and. Um, and Vince McMahon comes out after CM Punk wins the title again. Vince McMahon comes out and he says, if anything happened with the Shield, that uh, he'd be stripped off his title. So he was about to say that there. He was, he was about to say that the uh, CM Punk was going to get stripped off his title, and then The Rock says no for a rematch, and uh, they did the rematch anyway, and The Rock won the title. So uh, that was the end of it. The, see, I was kind of sp- spectacle as well about this uh, whole situation because with uh, <coughs> with The Rock being away for 10 years and coming back straight away, you kind of think um, it'd be kind of hard. It'd be kind of hard for him to show up every week in Raw. But what happened was he did show up. So we, we can't really say anything about that. I've hopefully he keeps on showing up every week now that he's the new WWE champion. The next match then, well, this is um, Monday Night Raw. And um, the first match is Randy Orton versus uh, uh, Antonio Cesaro with the special guest referee, The Miz. It's a quick enough match. It's only about a four-minute match. Um, but there's, uh, like, how Randy Orton wins is RKO, as we expected. Like, we've seen this match happen before. But at the end, the Miz is the special guest referee because it's, Raw Roulette on in Las Vegas. So um at the very end, um the Miz just uh gr- help, try pretends to try and help C- uh uh Cesaro up, but he ends up giving a uh using his um finisher the SCF and uh that's about it. That's how it ends. And then it's backstage I'm a fucky and um right back ends up and he has to he spins the wheel and he has to do a make me laugh challenge with uh the time uh prime time players and in the middle of the ring with uh <coughs> sorry in the middle of the ring with Str- matt striker and um the prime time players say a stupid joke and it's not even funny and then uh uh Fuck. Uh, right back comes back and says, uh, what's what has four eyes and twenty toes and is going to be unconscious and he says it's going to be the time players and he do he knocks them out. Then Matt Striker pretends to be laughing, and so he wins the challenge right back. But then right back just does the shell shock to Striker. Wonderful. Then it shows uh the 2013 Hall of Fame of uh, Bob Backlund. Well done to him and McFoley. They're the two that's done so far. So there's not much to say about that. It just shows what uh, stuff they did in the past. And uh, that's about it. So then uh, Vicky's backstage again. She uh, spins a wheel from Wade Barrett. And Wade Barrett gets to choose which uh, opponent that he wants to be against. So he picks Bo Dallas. The guy that pushed him over the top rope in the Royal Rumble. And he's the boy from NXT, by the way. And um, it ends up Bo Dallas actually gets the three, uh, uses a power, uh, power slam on Wade Barrett. And he gets a three count and he wins the match. So it was a big, uh, big surprise there. Then backstage you've got Cody Rhodes spin, spin the superstar wheel. And it lands on John Cena. So his match would be Cody Rhodes versus John Cena. 
but we're enough match. Don't even last that long. Just John Cena doing the AA really, and it was a f four second ma a four minute match. It was so bad. Like then John Cena's uh, on the microphone, and he's talking about WrestleMania twenty nine and who wants to fight at WrestleMania twenty nine because Cena won the Royal Rumble last night, uh, the night before, and. Um, he keeps debating which which who he should go for because the Rock's the new champion, and CM Punk is going against uh, is has his uh rematch for his title, or he could go with uh, uh Del Rio as uh as a match, but he picks the Rock and John, uh, CM Punk. So either CM Punk wins the title, he'd be fa facing him. If the Rock keeps the title, he'd be facing him. So um, backstage we have Vicky spin the wheel for Tensei, and it lands on a laundry pillow fight. So Tensei says no, and he has to, uh, he lets Bruce he doesn't know that Bruce Clay um, spins the wheel again. So this is kind of funny. I actually like this. It was Bruce Clay versus Tensei in a dance off, but da uh, Tensei didn't know about the dance off, so he came out wearing like bra and panties. Under his, under his wrestling attire, and it was kind of funny. Then he started dancing. It was uh, I actually enjoyed it. It actually made me fun. Uh, fun. It was kind of funny, like, but uh, it didn't last that long. And that is what it is. Um. Then the next thing is Alberto Del Rio spins the wheel, and if it land, it lands on a body slam challenge against the Big Show. But the the body slam challenge didn't happen. It was just the Big Show gets the duct tape as. Del Rio did at the Royal Rumble and ties uh, Del, Rio, Del Rio's hands around and uh, he starts beating the shit out of uh, his commentator Ricardo and uh, that's about it that segment is just just a slam match really then we got a Divas match Caitlin versus Ta Tamana Tamina I can't say it another, another match that only was like um, it, it just was like a Lumberjill gear a match. Like there was nothing really. There was no winner of this match because everyone got into the ring, started fighting with each other, and uh, that was about it. What was that? There was no winner or anything. Waste of our time watching it. Next match was Sheamus versus Damian Sandow in a tables match. Good enough match. Lasted around eight minutes, eight or nine minutes. Um. The match, the winner of the match was Sheamus anyway, but uh, there was a good lack of, uh, uh, like, uh, tables involved. The Sheamus uh, used uh, white noise through a table to win, um, but it was good. It was a good match. It uh, didn't last long, but it was worth the match. Then we had Zack Ryder versus Great Kelly in karaoke, and oh my god, this was the stupidest thing I've ever seen in Raw in my life. Um, but. Uh, it was just them trying to sing. Uh, it was just Kelly singing Shawn Michaels theme tune, and then three man band came out and uh, they started atta getting attacked by uh, uh, the Great Kelly and uh, Zack Ryder and Hornswoggle. But uh, mm, it was shit. It was not not the best segment. Um. Next is uh, Chris Jericho comes out to the ring. And saying how good it's to be back, and how long he was away for six months, and it felt like six years, and it was good to be come, good to be back. Then uh, Dolph Ziggler and his uh, team comes out, his AJ and E, they come out, and uh, they start giving Jericho some shit, and uh, he doesn't listen to him, and he starts making fun of E, e and all this here. Jericho keeps making fun of E. Then Vicky comes out and says, well, not comes out, says from backstage that there will be a match. Uh, Dolph Ziggler and Chris Jericho versus Team Hell No. Uh, the winners of the match is Team Hell No because of, uh, because of Jericho uh, misses the lion salt and Brian kicks him away. Kane and Brian then argue above each other. Jericho slaps Kane in the back and tags in Ziggler. Kane with the choke slam and then the three clowned. So it kind of screwed over Ziggler. Now, um, this part is where this is at the end because, uh, oh, I, oh yeah, the 
third inductee to the Hall of Fame actually was uh, Trish Stratus. And I was pretty shocked about this because I thought it would be DX tonight, uh, last night, but it was actually Trish Stratus. But fair play to her. She got in and uh, well done to her. And that's about it. The next um, next part of this uh, segment was Vince McMahon comes out about to Paul Heyman and was reviewing how Paul Heyman did his job with CM Punk. And it shows a video backstage of uh, The Shield and Matt, uh, what's his name? Uh, what's his name? Brad Maddox, and was shown uh, to see if they were involved, and it was Paul Heyman, and uh, Vince McMahon says, uh, did they have anything to be with CM Punk or anything, and he said no, and once they showed the footage, you knew he was there, and Vince McMahon was about to fire him, and then, bang, Brock Lesnar comes down to the ring, and F5s Vince McMahon, and the ro- that's it, Rock was off air, but uh, I like that part, I like that segment. And um, and that was about it. I actually the only part I enjoyed in this was actually that end part, um, and the dancing. I thought it was hilarious. But with the great Kelly, oh my god, it was the stupidest thing ever. But anyway, out of all raw and all, um, I give it about three stars. Um, there's not really much to say. Um, okay, I'm Green Wilkie, and uh, that's about it. Thanks.